I talked to Daryl, I talked to Nate Costa, Paseco. You guys are kind of the group that played against Tennessee, uh, the few guys that played in that game. What do you remember about that game three years ago? I remember the, uh, we had to go back in for the uh, lightning delay. That was interesting. Came back and put it on them. Yeah, what was, what was that like? It, did, it changed the game. It yeah, because like, they were they scored. I think on their first possession, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it, we got we got a chance to get back in the locker room and make some adjustments, and it helped. So it worked to our advantage. You guys ever have you ever been part of a lightning delay before? Not not before that. No. Yeah, obviously not since. <laughs> it doesn't really happen. You know, it rains here. It yeah. Lightning. Um, anything you can take from that game playing against Tennessee that that will help you prepare for this week? It's a long time ago, obviously. Um. Just knowing that they have great athletes, they they breed great athletes in the South. So I mean, just knowing that they have a lot of great athletes, different coaches, so it's not going to be the same system and not anything like that. So I mean, uh, not not much to take from it, but other than knowing their personnel. Yeah, is there you mentioned great athletes in the South? They're an SEC team, obviously. For the fans, um, Oregon fans might take some pride in beating an SEC team. Past two times, Auburn and LSU. Uh, obviously, you know, they, those are two of the best teams in the country. Mm -hmm. um, for you guys, does it matter? No, it doesn't. It's just another test for us, a uh, chance to uh, prove ourselves against somebody that we haven't played, uh, somebody that we don't play regularly uh, every season. So it's just a good test for us in that aspect. But, you know, it's just another game. <laughs> this will be the biggest name opponent to come to Austin since you've been here. Mm -hmm. Do you like having these type of games, playing a team like a Tennessee that has kind of some national record, yeah, I don't know, kind of, just, just, I don't know, you know, it has, has some power nationally? I yeah, it, it's definitely fun. I mean, I, I love to play the best. I want to I want to play the best. I want to compete against the best players. Uh, so if they're the best players and I want to play against them, they're, then – it's a good test for us. Having them at home, though, is that is it nice to get get a game like this in Austin? Uh, it's fun for the fans. I don't really care where we play. Really? <laughs> yeah. No difference between home and away for you? Uh, uh it was fun last week. Yeah. I had fun last week at Virginia, yeah. and getting that an away crowd is it's, it's something about an away crowd that I really like to play in. Speaking of away crowds, what do you remember about Tennessee's crowd? It's a huge. Stadium, That's right? probably one of the the best atmospheres I've ever played in, yeah. other than Austin Stadium, yeah. but. Uh, it's re it was real loud. Uh, the, the crowd definitely uh, lets you have it, and it's, it's, it's fun. It's a fun atmosphere to be around, especially at nighttime. Yeah, you get sick of Rocky Top. By the yeah. Of that game. <laughs> I hear you guys are playing that song in practice, but you're not gonna hear it mm -hmm. uh, obviously during the game. No. The band's not coming. So what? What? What is? Does that just kind of put you in the mindset of playing against this team? Yeah, and it kind of gets stuck in your head throughout the day a little bit too. I don't, I don't try to sing it, but. Uh, <laughs> Just every now and then, it'll get stuck in my head, and I'll find myself singing and try to snap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what stands out to you about this Tennessee team? Um, they do a lot of they do a, they do what they do well. They do what they do really well, so they prepare really well. Their special teams is real good. Uh, that's something that that's something that probably a lot of people don't, don't really take into account. But their special teams are real good, so we're gonna have to play really well on special teams to beat them. What is it that they do well? Offensively, specifically, it looks like they run the ball a lot, uh -huh. statistically. Yeah. Okay. Um, they just they they uh they try to get you out of, uh, caught out of position a lot of times. Uh, make sure your eyes are right. So if you're not reading your keys, it's gonna be a bad game for you.